Hello, my friends. Welcome back to another episode of Pana Life. That's right, my name is Austin Hess, COO and Lead Relocation Specialist with Do Panama Real Estate and Relocation. And as I've been doing for the past seven weeks, that's right, I'm here again to introduce you to one of my dear friends, someone that I've met over the past 13 years living in this amazing country. And the whole purpose of this is to show people like yourself that are considering Panama for retirement, relocation, or investment to give you a little bit of insight and experience from those that have done it. Those have, that have gone down the path, that have lived here for a great deal of time, so that they can share a little bit about their experience with you. And today we are here in Boquete, Panama with my friend Chris Young. We're gonna go meet Chris Young. He is one of the co-owners of Big Daddy's and many other restaurants here in Boquete town. And it's just an amazing friend and a great person to know if you're thinking about living in Boquete. Come on guys, let's go. guys so I'm here in the back part of Big Daddy's now I'm here with my good brother Chris Young now Chris Young and I have been friends oh my gosh nine ten years you know it all started back in the day when he advertised this awesome restaurant in a newspaper that I owned at the time this was way before pandemic now we just have a magazine that incorporated both publications which we can talk about another time However, this fine gentleman was an advertiser in the newspaper and we just became really good friends. After that, we've actually participated in a restaurant together here in Boquete. And again, as I said in the front, you know, this is a guy that if you're considering Boquete, you're probably gonna eat at at least one, maybe two, maybe three of his restaurants uh -huh. while living here. And he's just an amazing part of the community and just a great person to know. So I wanted to bring him on camera. And before we talk about all your success that you're having here in Boquete, Let's talk a little bit about why you decided on Panama or why did Panama choose you? Well, Austin, first, thanks for having me. Of course. And uh, Thanks for having me. Before we get started, <laughs> I've got, I got a present for you. What's this? This is a local fruit. It's, it's kind of like a mango flavor. I don't know the English word, but they call it tete de chola. Which Tete de chola, I'm not that good at Spanish, but I think that means... Uh, I, I don't know. I, <laughs> Translate it on Google. Google, Google. <laughs> but it's, it's sweet, it's nice, I think you'll like it, I hope you do. Awesome, well so, thank you so much, I yeah, appreciate yeah, that. Yeah. And so yeah, talk to me a little bit about what brought you to Boquete, Panama. My parents retired here. They wanted a, a place that, that uh, my brother would be safe, he has Down syndrome, as you know. Yep. Uh, and something that they would have good climate, uh, they really- He could have a good life, yeah. they could have good friends, all around. Exactly. So I said, you're moving where? <laughs> Panama? <laughs> What's this? What part of Africa is that in? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so I, I said, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna come down with you and help you get moved and, and then uh, go back to the States. And well, I got here, and I'm like, wow, I gotta, I gotta figure out how to stay here. Yeah. So, uh, Long yeah. story short. Long story short, <laughs> that's how I got here. I live here. <laughs> and uh, how long have you been living in Boquete, Panama? Got here in 2010, November of 2010. Wow. And all the holidays, November, like that was unbelievable. Like, yeah, uh, so you know, two, yeah, yeah, two, it's basically, we call it the month of holidays, especially if you're a business owner, you'll really get to understand this. There are two Independence Day, one from Spain, one from Colombia. You have Flag Day. Uh, you have my mom's birthday in there, so that's important too. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you gotta love your mom, right? I love mine. Me too. Um, so, mine, not yours. Yeah, <laughs> I love yours too, though. They're both. We both have great moms. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, okay, so you came to Boquete, Panama. You really found yourself. You found like a lot of people. You know, they stumble across Panama or come here to check it out. It's hard to leave, you know, and people don't want to leave. So, especially Boquete, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah and, and I know you're a lover of this area, and I do like Boquete, but you know, like I like the fast pace of the city, and I do like the move around, you know, and I can find myself enjoying this place a lot. You know, we have another really good friend, he has a couple hotels. I'm staying over at Downtown Suites right now, and you know, right. just 
just looking out at the backyard at the trees and the plants and the flowers, you know, Justin is so meticulous with his gardening and how he does things. And um, he's actually a partner here, as you can see, he does it here as well. And um, man, just a, it's just such a beautiful place. It is a relaxing place. It's definitely heavenly. I can see why people want to live here. And uh, I always love to visit. So I can see why you've stayed here. Now, of course, we know you love Boquete. We're here at Big Daddy's. This was your first establishment that you have started or came across here in Boquete. But besides this, you have a couple other restaurants. So talk to us about the different restaurants that you have and what people can expect at each of them. Yeah, so so Big Daddy's, it's fun. It's, it's, uh, it's American comfort food kind of fish tacos. We take advantage of the local ingredients. Uh, the fish being one of you know Panama translates to abundance of fish. Yeah. Did you know that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So which is a it's a, it's real. Yeah. So so great fish tacos up here in the mountains. We're 30 minutes from the beach and and the docks. So uh, margaritas, famous for the margaritas, uh, lemonades, all that good stuff. Um, I like you know I like the boom boom shrimp. The boom boom shrimp. The boom boom shrimp. You gotta have the boom <laughs> shrimp and the taco salad. It has one of those like taco shells. Like I like that man. I like yeah. that. Yeah, so so thank you. So yeah, we and then I have fun. Like I do country fried steak every once in a while. I'll do like so, like a corn dog, something that really like you know the the expats miss. We try to keep keep them happy with that, and then the locals love the 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 gringo experience. Gotcha. So, so, um, it's a good mix of people coming here. Yeah, we're we're about half and half. Awesome. So it's a great place. Uh, the other one is Christopher's American Bistro. And that's your latest, right? Yeah. And yeah. this one, I you know I've had the experience of eating there three times, I think now. And each time I've gone with a new person that I wouldn't say they're a foodie, but they're really expert, especially my nine-year-old son. Yeah. You know, nothing's more honest than nine-year-olds in yoga pants. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> not in yoga pants, but and yoga pants. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, and he loves Christopher's as well. He loves this restaurant, but he loves Christopher's. Wow. Uh, so definitely got to tie Christopher's. His new latest, what kind of, what is this? It's American Bistro, right? It's American Bistro. We focus a lot on the, on steak. It's, it's more of a steakhouse. Um, a lot of different cuts grilled over nanse, which is similar to what in the States would be like mesquite type wood. Okay, so it gives a nice smoky flavor. Right, right. So that wood fired grill, every time I'm in the kitchen, I, I leave and, and somebody asks me, hey, have you been around a campfire? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nope, just my restaurant. <laughs> yeah, so um, that, but that smell translates into the beef and it gets that nice smoky flavor. Um, we do some great salads. We have some great appetizers. The beef carpaccio. I, every, oh, my favorite. It's good, right? Yeah, it's really good. Everywhere I go. I was just going to say that you stole that out of my mouth. <laughs> Not bad. Uh, French onion soup, Caesar oh, salad. Yeah. French and onion I, soup. The burger. I wanted to have, you know, a really big, nice burger. And, and I think we you hit it. Hit the mark. Oh, that. I'm going to have to try yeah. that. Yeah. Um, and again, you've created a lot of success here. And anyone out there that's thinking about coming to Boquette Day, if you're a master in the kitchen, if you're a business-minded person, you know, one of the things I like to tell a lot of people is like, Panama's an open canvas. Bring your paint brushes, bring your paint, and get to work because, I mean, I wasn't a publicist. I mean, I, mean, I never, I couldn't even really spell in school, you know? I was like the first out in spelling bees. But here I am owning a magazine, right? Yeah, yeah. Why? Because I want to eat good food and I want to travel around the country and hang out with cool people like Chris. Seemed like a win-win to me. So that's why I started the magazine. So really anything that your little heart could desire, you can do here. Uh, and it's I've, just I've, amazing. I've done things that I'm like, wow. I, like, like I, I'm not involved anymore, but I opened a pharmacy. <laughs> that was a business that I was like, what? I mean, I'm a, as a 20 plus year chef, like what am I doing? Op you know, like why am I opening a pharmacy? A little bit outside. But I wanted uh, to step out and realize I need to step back into my. <laughs> your lane. <laughs> my lane, yeah. But, but it's really, uh, well, you nailed it. Like you can come here and-, and Try anything. Yeah. You know, maybe uh, not every time you're gonna win, um, but you know what, you always learn and you always have a good time. That's the best part about in Panama. You know, people always ask me about ROI and I'm like, okay, yeah, but are we focusing on like, are you really just investing? Or are you coming for lifestyle? Because, you know, some people say, oh, I'm gonna do 50-50. I'm gonna live there six months a year and I'm gonna rent it out. I'm like, well, that's six months that ROI in that six month is your life, which is my opinion, the most important ROI, ROI in life itself is you. Yeah. You know, like you're not taking any of this with you. So if you're gonna enjoy this area more than the city, then obviously focus on this area. Um, so again, you know, this is a great place to live. Obviously, if you're considering Panama, reach out. We have affiliates in all corners of Panama. You know, we have over a hundred affiliates throughout the country. We love helping people relocate, 
get real estate, but also do it all correctly and do it safely where they feel comfortable. You know, we've helped out over 200 people relocate or invest in Panama and I love it. You know, it just keeps climbing every each and every day. Uh, so Chris, before we take off here, I just want to ask you, what would be one piece of advice? If someone's looking to come to Panama, what's one thing that maybe you wish you would have known before moving here? Any, any pointers that people can say, like go travel around, find your place or whatever it could be. I would say like the language is very important. Yeah. You really miss out on a lot of the cultural benefits. The people are wonderful. And if you don't, if you aren't able to communicate with them, you'll never know. You'll never know. And so like that's so one of my- So do your Duolingo. Duolingo <laughs> yeah. is, is a great way to- Great way. Yeah. I actually put post-its all over my house, like for the oven. Like, so I learned a whole bunch of nouns. That's a really great idea. And so you're seeing it, you're, you're, you're speaking it, you know, like, the worst case scenario, you, you speak in nouns and they still, the people will understand. Yeah, they'll understand. And, they'll, and, they're, and they're very cool. temperamental. They're, oh, oh, they'll work with you, you know? Yeah. Not like all cultures, you know? Some people, you don't speak the language, they're like, ah, get out of here. Exactly. Here in Panama, they're very friendly. They're very caring. They're very loving culture. Uh, and I couldn't agree more. I think that's great. And of course, you know, when you come to Panama, there's all kinds of Spanish classes. You know, there's a lot of Panamanians that would love to tutor you. Um, you know, going on any of these Facebook groups and asking, you're gonna find people. Again, we are a very loving community here. No matter where you find your tribe, if it's Bocas, if it's Boquete, El Valle, the city, the beach towns, Petisiv, and now there's so many places for you out there. And like my dear friend, my other dear friend in Petisiv now, they, they just bought a hotel and they just opened, really cr great spot as well. They say, you know what? There's a flavor of ice cream for everyone in this country. You just gotta <laughs> find it, you know? You just gotta find it. That's so, a good one. Chris, I appreciate awesome. it. Thank you. Nice to see you, brother. Good Thanks for you. the present. I can't wait to try it out. And uh, guys, get down here to Big Daddy's, go over to Tap Out, and of course, check out Christopher's Bistro. All right, guys, so thank you for joining me on this episode of Panel Life. Again, we're coming to you once a week to show you other great individuals like this fine gentleman we met with today, Chris, here from Big Daddy's. Remember, guys, if you're interested in Panama, however, you have no idea what's right place for you, I invite you to go to our website, dopanama.com. Here, you're gonna find a 23-question where should I live relocation survey. It's a free survey and it's multiple choice. So it only takes three to five minutes. And once you submit that survey, my team's gonna get in touch with you with some recommendations and then set up a complimentary Zoom call with myself. So make sure to go check that out. And if you're already at the point of looking at real estate, please check out our real estate network. We have listings from over our 100 affiliates across the country. So guys, again, we look forward to helping you down here in Panama. For more information, reach out to my team, info at dopanama.com or give us a call, send us a WhatsApp message, or a text message to the number you see here on the screen. Until next time, ciao!